Regional Air Express is flying Sydney to Melbourne from $79. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, fantastic news. It looks like the market is providing and cheap flights are returning from Sydney to Melbourne. $79 flights, remember those? Regional Air Exp Express has now expanded and is taking on that domestic route. Should be great to see if that can continue, particularly from Sydney to Brisbane or maybe even from Brisbane to Melbourne. Now, before we go through their media release and learn a little bit about their organization, I'm going to jump over here and put in a plug for my Heiser Says US channel where I cover US news. Check it out. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's look at this media release from Regional Air Express. From the 1st of March 2021, travellers will finally have a high-quality, reliable and affordable airline to fly between Australia's major capital cities. Tickets for Rex services between Sydney and Melbourne go on sale from today. Rex Deputy Chairman, the Honourable John Sharp AM, said this would be a historic new era for Australia's domestic air travel. Finally, Australians can look forward to not only a safe, reliable and affordable airline, but one they can count on for the long term. Rex's origins date back almost 70 years, making it Australia's second oldest surviving carrier. And if we jump over here, we can see just all of the routes that Rex does. Now, I'm familiar with them from, well, my understanding was they were <laughs> servicing some of the regions here in Queensland. You can see here in, they're operating in partnership with the Queensland government, the green routes. And here's some of the regional routes from Cairns to Mount Isa. <laughs> Very far north, right at the tip right at the tip now the furthest inland i've been has been to long reach for work that was a uh, some time ago i remember there was a good little bar there you can get some good good beer and very good steak but we can see how they're well playing quite a big role in new south wales and in melbourne and they're servicing all of the regional areas you couldn't quite get from one side of the country to the other yet with them but we'll have to see and here is their domestic routes sydney to Melbourne. Now the Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane Triangle, this is one of the most profitable airline, you know, little triangle areas in the entire world. And if we can get Rex coming into this market and you know, taking advantage of the opportunities, that's fantastic. This is an example of the market providing. Now we shouldn't be concerned. We shouldn't be concerned with, you know, all these these claims that airlines are going to collapse and the government needs to subsidize them and prop them up and put money into them opportunities are created when businesses fail it may not be fair it may be you know, completely people will suffer when these happen things like this happen but op that creates opportunities and new chances for people to come back and create businesses for businesses to grow to expand that's what the market is about that's what should be encouraged in the market so this is an exciting opportunity for travelers. For the first time, they don't have to choose between low fares with minimal service and premium pricing for more reliable fl flights. Over the past 20 years, Rex has been the most reliable passenger carrier in Australia, and our domestic services will naturally enjoy this superior reliability at affordable prices. Rex will offer all the usual perks of a full service carrier, including eight business class seats. All fares include checked baggage allowance, Food. Food. Remember that? Remember when you just would get food for normal on a flight? I'm still a bit surprised. <laughs> I still remember the compass days when you'd get like a Kit Kat and a, a little food bag. I'm showing my age now. Um, Pre-assigned seating and online check-in. Lounge access and onboard Wi-Fi will be free for business customers, whilst economy passengers can access these options for a small fee. In short, we'll be offering premium full service with our trademark country hospitality, but at fares pegged to the budget carrier levels. This is competition. This is fantastic. This is good to see. It's encouraging. The first three Rex Boeing 737-800s will take off between Sydney and Melbourne on the 1st of March 2021. Rex will begin with nine Sydney-Melbourne return services a day. Nine a day. It shows you why it's so profitable. By Easter, two additional 737s will be added to expand our domestic network to Brisbane and other capital cities. 
There you have it. If all things go as planned, we hope to grow our fleet to 8 to 10 by the end of 2021. To celebrate the launch and the release of, of Rex's library for the domestic fleet, 100,000 promotional fares are offered for the Sydney to Melbourne service at $79 for travel within 12 months. So, I mean, there you go, guys. If you're planning to head down to head down to Melbourne within the next 12 months, $79, 80 bucks. That's getting to the point where you could go for a weekend away. That's getting to the point where you could live in one city and commute to another. So tickets are on sale at rex.com.au or through your travel agent. Below are the first images of the 737s in Rex's new library in the famous colors of the historic airline. Check out our website to discover why our fares are twice the value at half the price. Twice the value at half the price. Not a bad tagline. And of course, it's all subject to approval and terms and conditions. So, Rex is Australia's largest independent regional and domestic airline operating a fleet of 60 Saab 340 aircraft pre-pandemic on 1,500 uh, weekly flights to 59 destinations throughout all states in Australia. Rex will begin its domestic service with six 737-800s in March 2021. In addition, the airline Rex, the Rex Group, comprises wholly owned subsidiary uh, Pell Air Aviation, Air Freight, Aeromedical and Charter Operator, and two pilot academies, Australian Air Airline Pilot Academy in Wagga Wagga and Ballarat. I didn't know they had a, an academy out of Ballarat. Well, there you go. So let's jump here. Let's have a look. I brought up the wiki so we can learn a little bit about the history of Rex. Because, as I said, I've only heard about them in passing. And they're starting to get more wider media exposure. So I thought it would be good. I'm pressing the wrong buttons here when I wanted to mute the microphone. Fantastic operation you're doing here, Florian. Well, I'm going to have a shot of coffee. Let me know if you've ever flown with, with Rex. I'm sure some of the people uh, doing the fly and fly out would have. So the airline was established in 2002 when the Australia-wide Airlines Consortium, set up by former ANSET Australia employees, acquired Heselton Airlines and Kendall Airlines, merging the two companies and started operations in August 2002 as Rex. In 2005, Australia-wide Airlines was renamed Regional Express Holdings and partially floated on the Australian Securities Exchange. On the 30th of November 2005, Rex announced the acquisition of Dubbo-based Airlink, another regional airline. In October 2007, Rex expanded into Queensland, where it commenced operations between Brisbane and Maryborough. This exacerbated an existing problem with the company of not having enough pilots to crew its flights due to the expansion of larger airlines, especially Jetstar and Virgin Blue, and Rex suspended operations out of Brisbane and from Sydney to Cooma during the summer low season for this route to the New South Wales ski fields in November 2007. To provide a medium-term solution to the pilot shortage, Rex announced that it was establishing a cadet pilot flight training program. In November 2015, Rex announced the resumption of services to the New South Wales Snowy Mountains in conjunction with Snowy Mountains Air Corporation. The flights commenced on March 2016. In December 2015, Rex announced that it will be commencing operations in Western Australia. In February the following year, after being selected by the Government of Western Australia to be the operator of regular RPT routes after a tender process, initially operating between Perth to Albany and Esperance, in July 2018, the West Australian operations expanded to include uh, Carnival and Monkey Maya. It brought, brought Rex's weekly flights to some 1,500 across 60 destinations. Well, you've also got to think, this expansion of their route to incorporate this domestic route, here, just nine flights extra, that's going to be hopefully more jobs for pilots. Well, of course, they're training them, training their, their own crew as well. So remember we used to have a pilot shortage guys there was there was difficulty not so much anymore as of the 6th of april 2020 rex has significantly scaled back all its regional services due to the pandemic continuing to only offer government subsidized services within queensland and western australia and one flight a week between all 54 regional and remote communities within its route network adelaide to port augusta sydney to newcastle and sydney to armadale services were suspended 
In June 2020, Rex announced interest in expanding into the domestic airline market with operations to commence in 2021 between Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. Rex leased six Boeing 737-800s with the first delivered in November 2020. The first jet operations are planned to begin on the 1st of March 2021 on the Sydney to Melbourne route. Additionally, Rex announced that it has entered into a moratorium memorandum of understanding with ATR to explore options for replacing the Saab 350 fleet with the ATR-42 and ATR-72 aircraft. So that's interesting. We're getting a little bit of an overview about Rex and seeing some of the flights that they do. Well, there you have it, everyone. The return of cheap flights, if only for a promotional deal. Still, 12 months of 80 buck flights. You can't go wrong with that. And food's included, guys. Remember that when that wasn't a perk? Ah, well, the market is providing, everyone. Don't worry if tough times are coming. That creates opportunities and people will swoop in. Swoop in to take advantage of it. And in the long run, that's the best thing for all of us. The problem is when people are concerned of tough times and then the government intervenes and limits the market's ability, then, well, we suffer. All of us suffer in the long, long term. As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Are you a fan of Regional Air Express? Have you ever flown with them? And how was the experience? Is this enough to encourage you to fly with them? Would you be happy to go from Sydney to Melbourne? Let me know. And we'll see. <laughs> maybe, maybe, hey, you know, next year I've got people asking to do some some meetups. I thought we'd do, you know, an event at the German German club here in Brisbane, you know, the beer hall. And, well, I could probably afford to go to Sydney and Melbourne now if we start getting cheap flights from Brisbane as well. We'll have to see. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create here, there's a few ways you can. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says use, or Teespring. You can use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I will see you all in the next episode.